Proverbs 29 and verse 18. I want you to read this with me and I want this to sink in as you read this. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Let's read that again. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. The Lord bless you this morning. Again, it's so good to see everybody. Um, you can be seated this morning. Amen. I'm again so glad that everybody has come to be with us in Vision Casting Service 2009. We have never done this here, but I felt it uh, in the Holy Ghost this week or this month to do this as an introduction to the church, to everybody that is here, um, so that you can see the heartbeat of those that are in our church and the visions that they have. And I want to, as pastor of this church, um, to openly acknowledge the law and walk in agreement with the vision of those that have spoken uh, earlier this morning. Uh, the Bible tells me in Matthew 18 and 19 that if two of us shall agree on earth as touching anything, that if you ask of the Father, it shall be done for us in heaven. And so I am going to walk in agreement with the leaders that spoke in this place. And I wonder, is there anybody else in this place that will walk in agreement with the leaders who have cast vision in this place in 2009? If you will, I want you to shout amen. Amen. But when you shouted amen, you are essentially saying that you agree. That you will support and stand by your brothers and sisters as fellow laborers here at the Connect Point. That you will walk with them in the trenches, help in assisting them. That you will do whatever it takes to help facilitate the progress of every department in this church for their growth and for their effectiveness. I don't know about you, but I want to be an effective church. Is there an amen in the house? I said, I want to be an effective church. I don't want to just go to church. I'll tell you what. If I was sitting in a pew, if I was attending a church, and the church was not affecting me, I wouldn't want to go there. Right. I said, I don't really want to go there. I want to go somewhere that something is going to impact my life. And, and I want you to know this. There are a lot of churches today in our community that do not have spiritual and biblical truth. They are propagating a, another form of religion. It sounds good. It feels good. But I want to tell you, they are effectively communicating to the public. And that's why they continue to grow. That's why they continue to prosper. They're not teaching your children or our children truth. They're not getting them any closer to heaven. But they are effectively communicating something to them that they want to come back to. And that's what we as the children of truth must accomplish in 2009. We must effectively hit our community. Amen. Church vision is an integral role in the development of our children. Church vision is an integral role in the development of the individuals that will make up this church. You see, it's the church's vision that is cast into the souls of them that come into this building searching for the missing link in life. Anybody ever felt like they had a missing link in their life from time to time? That's why we come into church, because we want that link to be put back together or that connective link to link the, the, this aspect of my life to that aspect of my life. Uh, at times we become uh, discombobulated, and it's this church vision that keeps us steady through the turbulent times of our life. Amen. Amen. It's the vision that strengthens us when we're running on empty. That we're, when we're exhausted, we're constantly wore out from the rigors called life. It's the vision that gives us understanding 
as to which direction to travel. It's vision that helps me to understand this morning right from wrong, good from bad. It, it helps us to see clearly when the fall grows in at the most inopportune times. I'm, I'm talking about vision this morning, church. It, it's something that will help keep you when nothing else will keep you because you know that there's a church that has vision for my life. There's a pastor that has a vision right. for my soul. There's a person that loves me in a place that no one else loves me. Right. You see, church vision is more than an epiphany. You see, for unlike an epiphany that suddenly comes and suddenly goes, the vision is like one's heart that beats day and night. A vision is a part of you. Every aspect of your walk is measured by this thing called vision. Every thought that you think, everything that you say is filtered through this aspect called vision. It becomes you and you become it. The Bible says without it you will perish. Make no doubt about it, church. Without a vision, the Bible tells me that we will perish. Without We as a people. 